All right, I'm looking to check. Okay, I'm on the computer now. I'm looking to see if it saved it. God damn it. I hate that Discord automatically pops up and stops me from doing the middle of what I was doing. God damn it. Okay, uh, everything we did did not save. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't. Now recording. Thanks, Craig. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. All right. <laughs> okay, now I can. So, okay. uh, <laughs> all right, Bunny, uh, take two. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, we had, a, we had a good practice, didn't we? Yeah, that was a great practice. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what it was all about. It was about practicing. 100%. <laughs> you got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We... We, we, we just got out the nerves, we combated what we needed to um, overcome, and we're here now, we have persevered. Yes. <laughs> okay, Bunny, off you go. Alright. Hey y'all, and welcome to the 16th episode of the broadcast. I'm Bunny, and I have with me today the very Australian, Eva. <laughs> hello, hello, g'day. <laughs> <laughs> the ever so sassy, Zali. Hello, the second time. <laughs> and the so, so sweet Rennie. Ah, <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> so, if we sound a little bit defeated, we've already done this already. <laughs> 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 Just so everybody knows. <laughs> Thankfully, Craig saved the day. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we recorded for about uh, 15 minutes, or not even 15, or around that, mm -hmm. and... Uh, yeah, all of a sudden, bum bum. Zylie got the blue screen of death. Yes. All right. Yeah, we got a bit of a, a blue screen of death from Zy. <laughs> so um, now we've uh, recruited the help of the uh, now recording bot, uh, Craig. Yes, Craig. So Thank you. Thank you. The only Craig, Craig that we like. Thank you very much. <laughs> <sighs> no, I think yeah, um buddy. I think what happened because I believe Augie I remember Augie on his live stream he was saying that uh he was trying three computers and he was blue screening and with every computer and he thinks yeah. it was OBS and I think it was I think it might have been Streamlabs and that's what I was using to record so it might be Streamlabs messing with me cuz I've never blue screened using um using stream elements so honestly, I kind of want to go back just to, I, I kind of just want to go to Stream Elements, period. So hmm. I need to set that up and get rid of uh, Stream Labs. Yeah. So, okay. So back to our first story. <laughs> 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 all right. And I'm sharing the screen with y'all, right? Yes. Yep. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So back to the first story. Alec Baldwin charges to be dropped after fatal rust shooting. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here how it reads as the following. The criminal charges filed against Alec Baldwin for the fatal 2021 rush shooting will be dropped according to a new report. Le recently appointed special prosecutors, Carrie and Jason, expected the file to file the paperwork soon, deadline reported on Thursday. In doing so, the pair will dismiss the involuntary manslaughter claims without prejudice. However, the charges against Baldwin's co-defendant and former armorer, Han Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, have yet to be cleared, meaning the case and Baldwin's involvement may be looked into in the future. Right. Yeah. So, um, and what I said last time, I, like, what were you saying that he neglected, like, he wasn't following protocol and stuff like that? Yeah, so from memory, um, I, I, I could be a little bit off or wrong, but this is what I, I kind of remember, is that um, there was, like, some sort of protocol that they did skip over with the armorer and um, with... Um, with Baldwin. So usually um, when you are going through a shoot and you have a prop gun, usually the armor is meant to say it's cold, uh, which means there's no live rounds. And then the um, actor is also meant to repeat that and saying cold gun and then they shoot. So apparently that is like one of the protocol that they did skip over into that. Um, and also there was the, um, the, 
what would actually, you know, attribute to the incident is that they used the prop guns, um, uh, like just to just shoot around on the on the set, like to to play around with with actual live rounds. So um, going from playing around with the gun and then using it as a prop, obviously no one's checked the live rounds inside it. Um, like it should be checked every time that they use it, and it just yeah, it was just full neglect basically on right on, on two people's parts. So um, yeah. Um, it says here Baldwin sixty four has ad- Baldwin sixty four years old has adamantly denied ever pulling the gun trigger, pleading not guilty to the accidental killing in February. What? And then here he's one. Well, that, and that's the thing. Still here, still prosecutors argue that the photos and videos clearly show Baldwin multiple times with his finger inside the trigger guard and on the trigger ahead of the deadly shooting. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's see. That's something that you should be learnt, like, straight up. Is how, like, your trigger finger, where that's meant to be held, is, like, one of the first things that you learn. So he's obviously not, hadn't had the training, or he skipped the training, or he wasn't, you know, he didn't ingest the training or something, because that's uh, so many things that went wrong there for him. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Um, he was originally facing up to five years in prison, which later dropped down to just 18 months behind bars. Meanwhile, and this is the funny part... Russ is set to start restart filming in Montana this week. The source is telling the outlet the dismissal was purely coincidental with the filming schedule. Uh, what? Yeah. Uh, I find that a load of shit. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Me too. Me yeah. too. Sometimes I feel like I, you've got enough money you can change anything. <laughs> so. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel bad that uh, uh, a life had to be lost for no reason. I mean, right. what it boils down to. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad. Um, it is sad. The next story we have is, okay, so I'm going to play this again. Now that my OBS isn't running, we're going to play it. <laughs> All mm-hmm. right. I'm going to let y'all Directly listen to this. Okay. And then, but mm. we're going to have to cut it out because it's from MTV. Yeah. And then I'll just read the header afterwards and then whatever. And you know, to cut all this shit out. Okay. Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, this That's freaky. That, that right there might become like a staple. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because. Yeah. The, I'm telling y'all, AI is the devil. You're going to see some I bad know. things come out of the AI. Yeah. yeah. You're going to see oh, some yeah. bad things. We already yeah, there's already so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, funny, you know what I'm talking about. There's already so much. It's nice. already a nightmare. Yeah. 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 Like, it's so scary. Mm. The heading here says, AI technology is taking over the music scene, unsettling artists and industry players. Um... The uh, has what you need to know on the pros and cons of AI using beyond. Okay, so we're gonna keep we'll we'll keep playing and talk about it. Okay, so we don't even really need to watch any more talk about this yeah. because. Yeah. Okay, and music I can understand because what do you have if you're a mu- if you, if you're a rapper if you're a singer what is your stick? It's your voice, it's how you sing, it's how you rap, it's how your cadence is, it's everything that's got to do with your voice. But, in saying that, it is with the samples you use as well. Because a lot in hip-hop and a lot in rap, they use a lot of samples from stuff that have been back in, like, you know, that uh, have, you know, rolled free now, or they've gone back into the Mm -hmm. system that they can use again. Like, after 70 years, something like that, you're allowed to use music um, from any artist, um, free without any royalty for something like that. That's what it is here in Australia. Right yeah. Now. But, um, like that is a big part of it too. And, but the thing is like putting, um, the AI technology in touch with, um, all the current music that is, um, you know, locked to certain, um, production houses or, um, you know, what they call record labels. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, Oh, no, I lost a train of thought. Oh, well, there you go. It's gone. Okay, well, I'll tell you this. As <laughs> yeah. Okay, what scares me about AI, especially as YouTubers, one or two things can happen. Either somebody completely gets canceled because of an AI. 
that they can't prove they didn't do because how do you prove something that didn't happen? Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Or two, something really does happen. Somebody really did catch a voice recording of something bad that happened and they can just explain it away as AI. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. true. It can go yeah. both ways. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, like, I agree with you on that sentiment. Like, here's the thing, right? Because, like, I grew up with, like, a thing called Vocaloid, right? Which is basically, like, computerized voices that they like they make japanese songs too right but the only mm -hmm. difference right is like one the the voice actresses and stuff like they gave consent for that and with this i'm not seeing any consent really given and you know you are right like uh, bad stuff's gonna happen if you know they're they're making bad recordings of real people yeah yeah, yeah. so it's like it's it's just a very interesting and kind of scary world because like again like with vocal like i'm used to it and you know it, it's normal for vocal stuff but now that they're adding real people to the mix like real mm. people's voices it's getting to yeah. an uncomfortable level well it's, yes it's already gotten really uncomfortable with like people um also using deep fakes and, and ai technology to um come up with um, you know, presidential speeches and like coming from yeah. like, you know, White House or like from, you know, from from Putin or like you know, like you don't know what's real or fake anymore with that sort of stuff. Obviously, there is going to there is some technology that scans them to see if they you know it's AI or if it's you know real or all that sort of shit. But like mm -hmm. in the end, like it could be it like it could set off like a scare you know what i mean and it could set off like you know another world war like this is how how big those yeah. things say one thing wrong and someone's mm -hmm. pressing a nuke you know what i mean yeah so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i mean that's there's like, a bunch of consequences that can happen because of this ai shit yeah. literally yeah. yeah yeah no there's like um another thing too like um recently like there was a genshin impact voice actor that you know was called out for being a creep and stuff and people got ai of like his voice and are making jokes about it and stuff too right yeah or t or think about it like a, a regular person working a regular job and they have them ai generated saying i don't know like like really nasty racist stuff for example mm -hmm. and they lose their job and it wasn't them the whole time yeah. 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 Or what about getting, you know, transfer money out of people's accounts over the phone? Yeah. Like all you need is like their voice yeah. saying, yeah, do it. Yeah. Yep, and that's, that's, that's the too. thing is that AI feeds off what's out there, right? So, um, with mm -hmm. the going back to the, the music thing, what I was the point I was going to try and say before I just remembered is that like all of the, the newer artists and stuff like that are on there now, which means that they get their royalties taken away from them every time that their um, a new song of theirs come out. Even people that are unsigned on the internet and stuff like on SoundCloud and stuff like that are getting pulled into all this AI stuff that yeah. no one's given them permission for. But, yeah. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared of AI. I'm going to be honest with you. I Because oh, yeah. I don't trust people. Yeah. I don't trust people being people, let alone people with some with something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, yeah. People letting AI take over, as it says there, um, that's that's people's issues. Like, there should never be a, a, um, a time where AI can overpower the human mind <laughs> because that's, that's how, um, what's it called, the... Terminator series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's we've the, we've the, literally the had movies about this, people. Yeah, we've scene. already uh -huh. we've literally mm -hmm. had movies mm -hmm. about this. Yeah, Why yeah. are we making these movies real? <laughs> I'm just saying. We've all just predicted mm -hmm. the future. Like I'm just saying. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. And then we found out. Um, I think it was through Matt Pitt because he told me this on a um on a live stream one time. Like the Terminator series was a prequel to the Matrix. Uh, yeah, that's right. I remember you saying that and it blew my mind. And I'm like, oh, I have to watch all the Terminator again and then figure it out. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> so we really not only have one series about this shit, but we have a second series to follow that. Yeah. Like, hello, people. Yeah. You deal with this? What is wrong with y'all? Crazy. Yep. <laughs> humanity is dumb, man. My God, the humanity is dumb. Yeah. Hey, I'll be over soon. <laughs> yeah, because AI is going to kill us all. No, no, yep. no. The, the, the rapture is coming. That's it. Everyone's going. Oh. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So this, the third subject, Brent Rivera. Wasn't Brent Rivera the one that got dumpy? Yeah. 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 Brent Rivera got exposed again for stealing content. 
He's yeah. been accused of stealing content from Airac and Matthew Beam and more. And here's a screenshot. Ooh. What? Even the same, like, shirt and everything. What the hell? Yup. Look at that. Wow, That's I rarely scary. call out creators, but Brent Rivera is a plagiarist. For the video I got to work on with Foul... I don't know the name. Brent copied the idea, title, thumbnail, hotel, story element. So I'm kind of mad. And look at the two what screenshots. The whole thing. Wow. Wow. And he has 5.7 million views. Yeah, the original guy has 5.7. And yeah. oh, wait. Wait, which one's the, the original? original one uh, Brent Rivera. Yeah, yeah, the original one has 5.7 and Brent has 1.7. But that has one day yeah. of views. 1.7 million views is one yeah, day. Yeah, versus two months. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yep. And then it says here, um, and the idea accompanying is just relentless. So okay. this person, ARAC, did 100 dates in 24 hours. <laughs> okay, 13 million year, views one year ago, 16 million views 11 months ago. And here's Brent Rivera. I went on 100 dates in 24 hours. Four months ago, 22 million views. Little Sister goes on 100 dates in 24 hours, 33 million views. Nine months ago. Yeah. Shameless. Listen, I can understand because like Illuminati is kind of having an argument right now with um oh god, I forgot who it was. She's having an argument with somebody right now about like mm -hmm. um copying her editing style or whatever. Oh yes. really? Is something e is it something Eagles or Eagles? Yes, Legal Eagle. Yes, yeah. Legal Eagle. Okay. I can understand the, the editing styles kind of being copying because, I mean, you, just because you had a thought to edit something one way, it doesn't mean other people won't have that same thought to edit something yeah. that way, okay? Mm -hmm. But this right here, you're copying the idea, the everything. <laughs> I mean, this guy went to the <laughs> same damn hotel. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. I mean, that's literally copying what that person did. Actually, like, yeah. dude. Yeah. Like, come the F on. That's Ooh. just, that's, that's low. That's so, that so low. Does he have, like, I wonder if he's got, he comes up with his ideas, right? Like, there's no, like, sort of, like, a team, like, you know how, um. That's what I was just wondering. Yeah, like, you know how with, with Ethan Klein's wife, Hila, with Teddy Fresh, how she was, like, my team came to me with, like, all of the, um, mm -hmm. designs and stuff like that that were apparently stolen from Gucci and all these other places, you know? Was, I didn't know anything about it. And then they, like, you know, get rid of the team member or whatever, and then all of a sudden, months later, it's happening again and again and again. And you're like, well... Is it actually them or is it you guys? Like, <laughs> so yeah, I, I mean, you start yeah. to wonder after a while. Yeah, so I feel like it's the same with Brent Rivera. I think maybe it is his ideas and he's just sort of covering it off with somebody else maybe. Well, he's going to. It's yeah. going to happen. <laughs> yeah. He's the type of person that doesn't take accountability, so. I'm setting up for the fish tank because yeah, the fish tank yeah. had a lot. Oh, my <laughs> God. So have you guys been watching it? Yes. Yeah, I've caught some of it. Yeah. All the past three days. I have been <laughs> glued, absolutely glued to it. And I tell you, I have some favorites. I have some favorites in there for sure. Me too. <laughs> Rennie oh, has look, her favorite too, just saying. Yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll compare, we'll compare favorites. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fish tank and let's meet the people. One of my role models is uh, Jesus and probably Andrew Tate. <laughs> I already don't like oh him. Uh, what do Just saying. Saying. What do we? What do we? I already don't like him. Is what are we hitting the what do we? Jesus. This tank <laughs> is a fully monitored smart house. You live in the walls. You control the action. If someone lied to me during the show, I would definitely talk to them um eight <laughs> contestants i'm fully vaccinated with two boosters left profile <laughs> six weeks we're definitely gonna have to team up and then kick everyone out i like i know that's right <laughs> cover my ears and start no, screaming and have like an autism meltdown no privacy i've been in over like a hundred <laughs> fights i could for real like scrap with anybody yeah. no phone the longest i've been without my phone probably like a week or two we heard what you said we 
know when you go to the bathroom. <laughs> and if one winner walks away with $10,000, this is Fish Tank. I, I, oh, I love yeah. that trailer. Is, I love oh that trailer. It is so good. It That's is great. actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go through everyone one by one. Oh, yeah. Meet Violetta, a 23-year-old with a bubbly and scattered... All right. Hold on. It's not loud enough. All right. Meet Violetta, a 23-year-old with a bubbly and scattered personality hailing from Alberta, Canada, currently unemployed. She spends her days journaling and playing video games, but her real passion lies in connecting with others. Violetta loves to spend time hanging out with friends on Discord and learning about people from all walks of life. Her curious nature and desire for connection make her a great listener and a joy to be around. However, Violetta is not afraid to speak her mind when it comes to men behaving stereotypically. She's easily annoyed by those who fall into the trap of toxic masculinity and is not afraid to call them out on their behavior. With her infectious personality and desire for genuine connection, Violetta is sure to be a memorable and lovable contestant on the show. So get ready to see her bring her unique perspective and bubbly energy to the fish tank. Okay, so what I'm going to say about Violetta is I think the only thing that is correct about her is she sits on Discord all day. And this is, this is the reason why a lot of people don't trust women on the internet. Because I don't think the rest of the description describes her at all. No, hey, yeah. Do you reckon she wrote her own description? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Probably. I feel like I can picture Sam Hyde and his buddies, like, laughing their ass off, like, writing this about these people, knowing that it's the complete opposite. Oh, right. I mean, it you know what I'm saying? Like true, that. true. Yeah. Like, that's the troll. Yeah. yeah, true. But also, Violetta looks like one of those girls that always plays the victim card. Aww. Interesting. Well, yeah, well, when she said, um, not afraid to call, um, them out on their behavior, like, those who fall into the trap of toxic masculinity, like, is she saying that everyone else is to blame for people being toxic? Or... <laughs> right. So, that's, that's what I got from that sentence. I'm not sure if I read that right. But... Simmons is a singer who has a deep passion for music. He often reflects on his childhood and wishes he had a singing mentor who could have helped him hone his craft earlier in life. However, Simmons is dedicated to becoming the best singer he can be and is always striving to improve his abilities. In addition to singing, Simmons has a love for roller skating and was once a champion in the sport. He's also an accomplished traveler, having visited seven different countries while working on a cruise ship. Simmons has a fierce athletic spirit and is always looking for new challenges and experiences. He's excited to bring that same energy and enthusiasm to the fish tank, where he can showcase his talents and continue to learn and grow as both a singer and a person. In fact, Simmons is so dedicated to music that he has even started teaching others about singing on his Instagram page at S-I-I-M-M-O-N-S-G with his passion, dedication, and diverse experiences. Simmons is sure to make a big impression on the show. All right. I don't know. I, I'm going to be honest. I haven't really noticed Simmons much on the show because I've been catching it at night and not really during the day. So he's got zero res. Yeah. Oh, the, really? The only thing I've seen him or noticed <laughs> from him is his giant teddy bear t shirt. And that's, that's oh, pretty yeah. much it. And he's people really mistaking Kuma. him for a woman as well. So that's yeah. Funny, but... Well, <laughs> Apparently, he keeps hitting on Letty, which is the nickname for Violetta, and she's just not interested, and he keeps trying. Like, earlier, um, he walked into her bedroom, was like, hey, do you, like, do, you, do you need help? And then he quickly, like, sat on her bed and then got up and, like, walked around her room and then walked out. He's got zero riz. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's, it's sad. Awkward. That's kind of... <laughs> yeah, awkward. Awkward is definitely the word. Oh, my God. Okay. Very awkward. <laughs> Next one. Meet Sylvia, the bold and unapologetic musician and artist from Tulsa, Oklahoma. 
At just 23 years old, Sylvia has already made a name for herself on Instagram, where she goes by the alias Pisrupt. With her sharp opinions and outgoing personality, Sylvia is a force to be reckoned with. As a musician, Sylvia creates music under the name Dream Substance, blending her raw emotions and experiences into her sound. Her music is a reflection of her edgy and unconventional personality, and it's no surprise that she is a huge fan of the iconic punk rock icon Courtney Love. Oh, Despite her oh, strong personality, Sylvia is not afraid of being isolated, and she is always up for a challenge. She is determined to showcase her talent and stand out from the crowd, and she is ready to take on any obstacle that comes her way. Her confidence and determination make her a strong presence wherever she goes, and she is sure to make an impact on any reality show she appears on. Get ready to see Sylvia in action as she takes on new challenges and shows the world what she's made of. With her talent, passion, and fearless attitude, she is sure to become a fan favorite and a force to be reckoned with. Fan favorite? Yes. She is not. <laughs> no. Completely no, the opposite. Oh my god. I would yeah. want nothing to do with this person. She seems horrible. All yeah. of it. Like, here's the thing. <laughs> I, I love her us her ascetic. I think her ascetic is honestly cool to me. But she is definitely like she, like because in the beginning she was trying to like one up with Violetta in like the room that uh, she was gonna share with Josie. Yeah. And uh, she 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 keeps giving like the chat middle fingers and she just keeps being so like rude but it's also funny because she said she's going to be like really autistic and like screaming and all this and that but she barely does it and um she was actually the one that Zylie brought up earlier who um uh Jonathan who will come up mm. um was trying to sleep and she was trying to rhythm so hard she kept standing like hovering over him while this man is trying to sleep on the couch oh and pacing back and forth like a weirdo it's <laughs> Um, did you did you want to see her her um, music dream substance? I've got a, a link in there if you want to see it. Oh God, that sounds oh, no. so horrible. Yeah. Not again. Yeah, so her, <laughs> not again. Her, her music video is called Emotional Labor. Oh God, oh, and this was put again. out just before it was put into the house. I have yeah. seen this video five thousand times, but I will do it. Use a it I will do it. me off that yeah. people like this want to be taken seriously yeah. too. Like on top of being like this, they also want to be taken seriously. <laughs> yeah, like before you play it, like here's the thing. I know what type of music she's going for. I listen to that type of music personally myself, but she is not uh, the best at it, I okay. guess is the nicest thing I can say. All right, so that's a precursor. Got ya. Okay, here we mm -hmm. go. I'm not playing the whole thing. No, we don't. Need to do Please don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> combination of lies, manipulation, cheating, stealing, gaslighting. Oh my god. Get to the music. Idea. I mean, she was going, oh, 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 I know that much. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so. Yep, that's enough. All okay. Right. Yeah. yeah, I it's get like, it. <laughs> yeah, like, I see what genre she's going for. It's just her voice isn't like trained for it. No, she's just wailing. Yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> she sounds like she it's put it down though. or something. Like, it's just, it's too horrible. Like, honestly, I'm so sorry, but that is bad. I see the vision. I see what she was going for. Yeah. yeah. Maybe she needed to be sober for it. Oh, Eva no. with the dunk. Just saying. <laughs> she's the one who was drinking to all those drugs, saying that she's done them, so... Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to the next person. <gasps> My favorite. An artist hailing from the sunny state of Arizona, 
Despite her shy and introverted nature, Josie is a creative force to be reckoned with. With a passion for film and media, she attended college to hone her skills and develop her artistic voice. Josie is a self-proclaimed anime enthusiast and has a particular affinity for Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> her love for gaming is evident in her pink and white gaming chair, which takes pride of place in her bedroom alongside her collection of highly regarded animated series plushies. Although she may come across as a little awkward at first, Josie is not easily phased. She embraces her introverted nature and uses it to fuel her creativity, producing artwork that is as unique and compelling as she is. With her quiet determination and passion for her craft, Josie is ready to take on the world and show everyone what she's made of. Don't be fooled by her shy exterior, Josie is sure to leave a lasting impression on anyone she meets. People love Josie. Yes. They love her. She is my autistic princess. Yes, I feel like this is like the only bias so far that actually 100% represents the person. <laughs> yeah, so like this just... one actually made sense to me. So like, yeah, she's amazing. And, the, and I'm going to tell you now, the chat loves her yeah they yes. do not the chat okay the chat is toxic as hell yes for uh for the fish tank they're toxic as hell except mm -hmm. for when it comes to josie they're not <laughs> toxic to her they love her on twitter they mm -hmm. love her everywhere everybody yeah. loves josie yeah. yeah like her her like autistic stems are just so like cute and adorable and quirky and like there is when when sam came in one of the first few times to like fuck with them he put like pizza and pepsi in her puzzle and everyone got so mad he's like all right all right i'll buy her a new puzzle because <laughs> the intro was just so <laughs> mad at him for doing that oh because she, she was so on looking forward to the puzzle yeah <laughs> <laughs> like she's did, just it, did he get her a puzzle i don't know i don't know if, i don't even know but he if told but he told the chat that he was going to yeah like she's just so wholesome. It, it it makes you wonder, like, why is she there? Why? Yeah. yeah. I just love the fact that okay, listen, it's almost like the commentary community. Okay, commentary mm. community is toxic as hell, right? Mm -hmm. However, right. it's nice to see when everybody comes together over somebody doing something stupid or bad, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, yeah. or like if somebody's in a bad way, they'll come together even if they don't like each other, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I think it's so it's so interesting to me that that toxic ass chat for the fish chick. I mean, they are bad. They have said some things. I'm like, oof, mm -hmm. right? But when it yeah. comes to Josie, they love her. Like they genuinely <laughs> love this girl. Yeah, they're just like, we must protect Josie. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Protect Josie at all costs. I mean, they got Literally. mad. Think about it. They got mad at Sam Hyde, you know, troll of of the internet. Okay, everybody loves Sam Hyde, right? And these people mm -hmm. who watch him, you know, they love his trolling and stuff. They got mad at him for putting soda and pizza on her puzzle. <laughs> right. <laughs> these same damn degenerates saying the shit that they've been saying to everybody else got mad at him for doing that to Josie. Yeah. That is amazing to me. <laughs> yeah, That's no, it is. It's so, like, bizarre because, like, you see how, like, they treat, like, Sylvia. Like, for those who, who don't see the chat, um, for any of you watching, like, they're very, very mean to, like, Sylvia and yep, say the yeah. worst things possible. But that when it's sense. Josie or Josie's up, they're like, oh, my God, everyone watch Josie. Look how cute she is. She's stimming and going in a orbit around her chair. Yeah, stim, 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 stim. Pretty much every single chat is like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they love her. Yeah. I know. I just find it really interesting when you see degenerate people turn around and become sweet. I, I, I just, I, I love it. I oh love it. God. Right. Yeah. Like, this is a great social experiment, <laughs> not only for the people in the house, but the people watching. Yeah. It's just so interesting mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. All yeah. right. So now we got the next person. With his easygoing and agreeable nature, Moro is known for being one of the friendliest people you could encounter. He has a natural charm that puts people at ease, and he is always happy to lend a helping hand. Moro is a bit of a phone addict, but he uses it to stay connected with his loved ones and keep up with his favorite reality TV shows. He's a big fan of the genre and has seen many popular reality shows, making him an excellent source of trivia for any fan of the format. While Moro is highly loyal to his friends and family, 
He has a strong aversion to people who lie to him. He believes in honesty and integrity and always strives to be truthful in his own life. With his affable personality and vast knowledge of reality TV, Moro is ready to take on new challenges and show the world what he's made of, all while staying true to his friendly and honest nature. Okay, he's another one. Again, I haven't seen much of because I've been watching mm -hmm. at night. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I, I will say, like, I think it was yesterday, like, so him and Simmons, the guy previously, they were in their room. I think they sleep in bedroom, too. They were in their room, like, plotting against everyone, essentially. And <laughs> yesterday, when the TTS came on, someone snitched on them. And I like how it says, because I think it was Moto that responded, but I like how it says on his thing, he, he doesn't lie or whatever. Mm. He literally, like, people were like, oh, my God, are you plotting against us? You know, in the living room. He's like, no, I, I don't know what they're talking about. So that's a bold-ass lie if that was oh him. Oh, Okay. <laughs> oh, I remember y'all talking about how he was plotting. Actually, I think I was mm. watching at that point, but I had to get yeah. up and do something. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're in VC. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> he, he lied. We've been watching this in Discord almost every night. We We've have. been waiting for the uh, entity to show up, and yeah. now it's well. We'll find. We'll we'll let everybody know what's going on with it. But yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So next person. This oh individual is a true Wait, jack of all trades. Between working in commercial lending, running a small electric bicycle business, opening a restaurant, and modeling. He's always on the show and always giving 100%. <laughs> the hell no. Although he may have a speech impediment, it is often mistaken for a European accent, adding to his unique and charismatic presence. <laughs> Prior to his diverse yeah, career path, Jonathan was a wildland firefighter, honing his skills in isolation and adventure. He isn't afraid of anything and embraces new opportunities and risks with open arms. Jonathan's adventurous spirit and love for learning have helped him thrive in various fields, and he is always on the lookout for the next challenge to tackle. With his drive and passion, there's no doubt that he will continue to make waves in whatever he does next. I can't. Okay. This, this one. I love John. <laughs> oh, God! I think it's so funny. <laughs> Widow away, widow away, widow away. He's gonna wob us of content. He, he is gonna wob us of content. <laughs> Tommy. Okay, so, and so let's see. Yeah, obviously, the the joke here is that he he sounds one hundred and ten percent like Smaggle Daggle, and it's the, yes. the thing that's killing all of us <laughs> right now. Um, when when yes. those TTS donations went through. Oh my god. So someone shouted out um Smaggle Daggle and Turkey Tom um in the house yep. and then also someone else um <laughs> shouted out now recording with like carrot 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 <laughs> carrot carrot carrot. It went on for ages and then like that carrot mm -hmm. now is something people say in chat all the time. So we started something which is so funny. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's really cool. Like, but, oh all I gotta say is this guy looks up to Jesus and Andrew Tate. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about yeah. him. Yeah, because with the shit that he was talking, which I'm not gonna say because I I want our YouTube channel to stay up. Uh -huh. Um, with the shit that he was talking, yeah, not mm -hmm. a fan. Not oh, a fan. Okay, so I didn't. I haven't heard <laughs> like some of the controversial stuff. I've just seen him. Oh. It, like um let's bad. say he was doing some Andrew Tate and the people like Sneeko talking point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. And and oh. I'm not talking about the women talking points. I'm more talking about like the panini and and yeah. you know, shots and stuff like that. Yeah. That's yeah. But there's something truly just like the irony in someone like him mm. saying the things like that. Like you, you can't write something like that. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's really funny because you think like someone like that is gonna like come in and be like really tough and like there was really funny parts where he just like starts randomly working out in the kitchen, but like yesterday the TTS really started hitting this guy like mm -hmm. really hard. Yeah. Like he took out his Bible and he was reading his Bible and it looked like he started crying. And I think the chat caught on to that. And I think he realized like the camera's right there, so he decided to sleep under the camera so people can see him crying. Yeah. Well, now that's in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of sad. 
Well, so that really oh. got to him. Yeah, so he, you know, he couldn't yeah. sleep and stuff. And he was also shadow yeah. boxing and doing some weird things in his bedroom. Well, and, uh, listen, if he let the chat get to him, apparently he's not top G after all. Yeah, I mean, I will say, like, to be fair to him, like, although a lot of the CCS was funny, there was some really, like, not so funny jokes for like people were like calling him like a pedo and stuff. Yeah, oh. and he was like, he was just sat there, was just like, Ugh. so he didn't say anything to that, obviously. But like, he had to be like, oh great, and so this, yeah, guy, so he say this guy's convicted, uh, convicted, um, yeah, felon or I don't know what it, what they what they said, but th that word yeah. for it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Sam High Attention had to literally come up, turn off the TTS, and like be like, "Hey, you know, don't let it get to you." Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's sad. That's sad. That is sad. Yeah. I, okay, I'll give him that. I'll feel sorry for him on that. Okay, I'll feel yeah. sorry for him on that. It's a little funny though, right? Like just like a little bit. I mean, listen. You're, <laughs> you just listen. Said people. <laughs> you're going into a house trapped in there for six weeks where mm. Sam Hyde is mm -hmm, running it right. <laughs> you should know how his audience is going to be yeah yeah, yeah. it's kind of funny i you just know, love so. i just love that every time he talks about himself it's like he adds another job to his resume and then like yeah it's just like, <laughs> yeah no so, exactly yeah yeah so it's literally jack of all trades he's been like and then someone asked him how many jobs he's got and he's like oh one oh two and then he went oh three well i just did as well and then well how many yeah <laughs> yeah no, like, yeah. I remember, like, first he was like, oh, I fought a coyote. Then he's like, like I think his <laughs> guest is, was like, hey, uh, are you, like, a millionaire or something, like, to him specifically? He's like, well, I have a Westawant, and the Westawant is going to give me $1 million at the end of the year. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. These people. <laughs> Josie is the best one, just saying. All right, let's, yeah. let's keep going. Next person. Yes. Introducing Vance, a 25-year-old delivery driver from Auburn, Washington. With his disarming and goofy personality, Vance is always up for a good laugh and loves to mess around with people. In fact, he's pretty darn good at it. Vance's love for baseball is evident. He even asked if he could bring his cleats to the show. He's always up for a game, even if it's just throwing a ball around with his fellow contestants. Although he may seem carefree and lighthearted, Vance does have some nerves about forgetting he's being filmed and accidentally getting naked. But hey, sometimes you just gotta let it all hang out, right? Before joining the show, Vance felt stuck in a rut and was searching for something drastic to shake up his life. Fish tank seemed like the perfect opportunity, and he's ready to dive headfirst into whatever challenges come his way. With his infectious personality and willingness to have fun, Vance is sure to be a memorable contestant on the show. So watch out, because once he gets going, there's no stopping him. He seems chill. He's yeah. the I'm gonna most be honest. boring. He's what? The most boring. He's the most boring, and why does he seem the most boring? He just really doesn't do anything. He just sits on the couch. Mm -hmm. Maybe he takes like a shit here and there, and that's really all he does. This yeah. guy just needed a place to stay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that was like one of my theories, right? Is that like one of these people is on house arrest, and this is their house, and everyone else is just mm -hmm. like <laughs> hanging. Oh, that would be so awesome. I'm thinking like the, 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 it was like I think it, it could be Vance. Who knows? <laughs> it could be. He <laughs> just like I think like the only thing that made me like interested in him is like was it was like yesterday the day before yesterday when um we thought like the the two people that came up to like leave like a loot box we thought mm -hmm. at first maybe they were the entity uh they're not but um he got downstairs and we were just watching the discord and we were like no vance what are you doing vance don't look at them don't look at them because we thought they were the entity he yeah. just turns to them and he waves at them and yeah. we're like oh my god vance bit of a nod that's going on <laughs> and then he looks like upstairs <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like what's up dude out. you yeah, keep every, walking everyone's thinking now he's not meant to look at the entity and stuff like that otherwise like bad stuff will happen or something like that so they've already been warned about like not looking at the entity or like not acknowledging mm -hmm. it or something and so like right. yeah so those ones are called sharks those guys so it was like okay so they're not the entity they're called sharks 
So hmm. yeah, we've been waiting for the entity forever. Yeah. Just saying. Mm -hmm. All right, and the last person. Oh no. <laughs> a San Francisco native who embodies the essence of the West Coast, laid back, always ready to smoke, and down for anything. He's half Filipino and half Irish, but his humor makes it hard to tell if he's joking about his ethnicity. <laughs> Damiel is an influencer and rapper, known for posting hilarious content on his Instagram page at Therialestomy. He got his start as a Vine star but is now looking to break into the reality TV world to take his career to the next level. With his comedic talent and charismatic personality, Damiel is sure to bring some laughs and entertainment to the show. Whether he's freestyling or cracking jokes, he knows how to keep things light and entertaining. But don't let his easygoing nature fool you, because Damiel is also a savvy media mogul in the making. He's constantly pushing himself to try new things and grow his brand. And Fish Tank is just the latest adventure on his journey to success. So get ready to see Damiel in action, because he's sure to bring the heat and show us all what he's made of. That guy this freaks guy. me out. Yeah. He's oh, I was to say, this me. is the guy. Right? He's the one. So yeah. I, I made a mistake before. I thought that John was mm. Daniel. No. Um, so, Daniel. I like Daniel. <laughs> yeah, so the Daniel out of all of them sounds the dopest. Yeah. He's, well, he I'm going to be fair. honest. Wasn't Daniel the one that was, like, doing – Um, wasn't he in the yellow shorts yes. in his room? Yes. Yeah. 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 I, I, feel like he, yeah. I feel like he's going to hit somebody. Yeah, he was shadow yeah. boxing. He was the one I was saying like he was shadow boxing yeah. to himself. And he was, like, talking to himself. There was, like, a part as well. We were, like, flicking through the channels and stuff like that as well when TTS was on and he was upstairs in his room alone. And as we were flicking through, it went, went to his one, and the TCS came through with, stop playing with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And all of a sudden his legs were moving. Was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, he oh seems a little God. unhinged. I yeah. like that. Yeah. That no, makes it good like, for reality TV. Yeah. He's, he's, he said he'd fight little... anybody. So. Yeah. No, he's <laughs> a little emo boy. And the, the best part is, like, on one of the, the uh, one of the times he was upstairs, you could see his butt. <laughs> he just walked out of the room with his like his actual butt out, and it's like, bro. All right, so Holly? we got some so we got some tweets about this. Mm -hmm. So okay. people people are loving the series. This yeah. was a really good idea by Sam. Oh yeah. All right, so this show is absolutely insane. I'm dying laughing at these poor contestants. They're terrified. This is the intro. Uh. <clears throat> Okay, um, this is not a scripted show, I want to tell you guys about myself, uh, when I came up, there was no TikTok, there was no Instagram, there was no, um, web service that could get you flash in the pan, uh, fame, okay? I came up, it took me 10 years working as a background extra, uh, on these fucking garbage shows, to get my first job as a line producer on the real world, okay? It took me 10 fucking years to do what it would take today an Instagrammer or a Twitch person six months to do. This opportunity, so whatever you make of it, I don't care, okay? I don't know you. I don't know you because you can sit here and pick your fucking nose, okay? I would recommend, though, that when I say, how you doing, fish tankers, we get a modicum of enthusiasm, okay? It doesn't need to be fake. We're not going for fake. We're not going for scripted. Are you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. okay. Oh God. I don't know if you want to be famous. I don't know, I, if, you, if you don't, why are you here? Rhetorical question, don't answer that. I don't know if you have a Twitch. If he is so or intimidating. You have, I, would, I would have killed for an opportunity like this. All right? So we're gonna redo that. I'm gonna redo the entrance, okay? okay. This is gonna be cut from the, the documentary. Reset camera, reset camera. This time around, when I say, hello, fish tankers, how we doing? A little bit of enthusiasm, a simmer, okay? Get, in your, get back in your natural position as well. Oh my god! Facts, though. It's really good. Okay, I'm Get back to your original position. <laughs> Josie went back to her chair. Yeah, look at Daniel, though. He's just. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Fish! How we doing? Fisted! 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 Oh my 
my god. Uh, I love Betty Fo. Sorry, oh, god. terrifying. Holy the shit. Old, have y'all oh, seen god. the old um MDE skit? I think I think it's called Moms, where they um they get all of these actresses to come play their moms and they're supposed to be like these young teenage boys or whatever and it's like him and all of his buddies all the guys from MDE wearing it and they just start saying the most horrible things to these women they make one of them cry one of them's got like the craziest fucking lazy eye I've ever seen in my life <laughs> and it's just like the wildest <laughs> thing I've, they just like berate these women for like 20 minutes and they're just like the women are trying to improv and like keep going with it, but they're just saying like horrible shit. <laughs> I it's don't. Great. Oh shit! Pause. <laughs> I don't doubt it. This this whole concept is crazy to me. I I I I would do it. I would do it. I would so do this. This would be amazing. <laughs> I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would. I think. Eh, I don't know. I, it's really fun. A really good idea, and I would definitely watch every moment of it. But mm -hmm. like, yeah, I would not do it myself. I think it would be fun. I don't know. I I, I, I guess it, from all the years of watching the real world and stuff like that, yeah. it's just I don't know. But I don't I know if I want to be in one ran by Sam Hyde though, yeah. because I'd be kind of oh, scared. Yeah, yeah. I'd go on Big Brother, oh, be great. but not this. <laughs> I got most likely to appear in a reality show in my senior yearbook, so I feel Did like I'm. Did you so, really? I, like oh. I feel like it's my destiny to. I've almost gotten on a reality show. So. Really? Yes. Oh damn! It really? is. A, it is a kind of a crazy story. It, it was a group of people. We were about to have a show with MTV, and it turned. It ended up turning out that it was a cult. So, oops. Oh. It got canceled. Yeah, it was a cult, and a bunch of girls got pregnant, and it was oh, like it ended up what, not what? being what MTV thought it was going to be, so it got canceled. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's okay. insane. Yeah. Uh, what? All righty, yeah, then. It was crazy. <laughs> okay, so apparently Josie has a fan base because this person has, in parentheses, Josie bro. Okay? And yep. they say, I love her. And this is the iconic moment of Josie. Coming out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> she's just so quirky and cute. How can you not love her? She's awesome. <laughs> she's absolutely awesome. Oh, we so love her. Cute. Actually cute. Yeah, it's funny. And then this one here, John woke up Mario and John woke up Mario and Simmons to make them small smell his wait. John woke up Mario and Simmons to make them smell his drink. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. I just thought that was funny. <laughs> oh, that dude is weird. All right. Um, okay. So, I was even going to live stream tonight. But now I'm not because I blue screen. But I was going to live stream tonight. And I was going to live stream Fish Tank and just have a hangout session on my channel. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we got this tweet from Sam Hyde breaking... Fish tank banned by Google. No idea how this is, how that's justifiable, but we're looking into solutions. Probably going to be a couple of days at least. And then he at Elon Musk and whatever. Jeez. Then next, he edited it and said, edit. This is not true. Check the latest retweet for what actually <laughs> happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, false alarm. Turns out the hosting costs... 30k every three days not every month and my bank account is drained Whoa. will restore will restore asap but this might take till monday elon musk can i hold a couple hundred thousand for a second oh <laughs> my god and then he says here i knew there was no way google would dare cross the gold striker <laughs> So oh 30K God. every three days, and he's doing this for six weeks? That is, that is ridiculous amount of money. $30,000 every three days. 10 grand a day. That's a lot to mm -hmm. look over as well. Like, where was that in the budget? Like, how would you not, how would you skip over that amount rather than it being a longer? Oh, my God. Yeah, like, I'm trying see. to figure out how they thought it was 30K a month, and it comes to find out it was 30K every three days. That's a big <laughs> mistake. Well, did whoever That's owns clear. the place decide that they figured out what's happening and there's a lot more money in it than what they're saying? 
Oh, like, I, I don't know. Know. Either that or somebody like read it wrong. Yeah, maybe. Which is possible. Yeah. Yeah. They so, could have read it wrong. He's yeah, he's pretty all over the place, so it's possible. <laughs> all right. So then he puts out today at eight fifty two p.m. You're missing John being tortured, and Aww. it says here, but doesn't matter because the stream is down. So are we. They are currently waterboarding John. I sent Julian. I sent Julian up with a camera to capture it, and somebody said Jesus. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> oh, God. And then somebody, uh, Frank Castle, actually uh, tweeted out, "Put Andy Dick in the house." Oh uh, God, that would be amazing. That, that would be the best. That's the worst punishment. Yes, honestly, one hundred percent. Who that is? You don't know who Andy Dick is? Oh, put, God. Oh, my God. Okay, Andy Dick and Kathy Griffin. Put them both in there at the same time. Oh, and God. Like, no, no. I, I, can't know who Kathy I could handle it. I know who she is. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, Andy Dick is, um, <sighs> used to be a comedian. And he really loves his drugs. And yeah. his <laughs> airline, his air, was it an airline uh, camper or whatever it's called? Uh, air Stringer. Yeah, air streamer. Thank you, air streamer, <laughs> camper, and he's been on like um, he's been on YouTube like IRL streams, and they didn't go very well. And yeah, oh, yeah. Hmm. yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. I say a lot of myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, so that's it. I mean, that's pretty much it right there. Yeah. We didn't do bad for a second take. We didn't. We didn't, to be honest. <laughs> Thank yeah. God for Craig Bot. Thank, Thank God you. for Craig Bot. All right. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> All right. Well, thank y'all for watching with us tonight. And don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe leave a comment about what what's something. Which character they like from Fish Tank. Oh, yeah. Which character you like from Fish Tank? Or who do you hate the most? Yeah, that's... There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be sure to be in the comments to put John or Samuel, <laughs> yeah, one yeah. of those two. And believe me, when it gets back up in a few days, I'll be straight back on it. So, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll have some updates mm -hmm. next time, possibly. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, everybody. Say good night. Good night. Good night, good everybody. Bye-bye.